again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 29th of January, 2019. Just uh, read a rather disturbing article, and uh, it was put up by Axios. Title, U.S. Military Threat Looms Over Venezuela's Power Struggle. Hmm. Written by Dave Lawler, L-A-W-L-E-R. You see a photograph of that Warhawk, that Warhawk John Bolton. National Security Advisor John Bolton took the podium in the White House briefing room today with a notepad containing a striking sentence, 5,000 troops to Colombia. So what's Trump going to do? Is he going to take the troops from Afghanistan? or Iraq and ship them over to Colombia? Huh? Between the lines, Bolton's announcement had nothing to do with troops. It was about sanctions on Venezuela's state-owned oil company, PDFSA. Asked hours later about the significance of the message captured by AP photographer Evan Vusi, a White House spokesman said only, quote, as the president had said, all options are on the table. Rhetoric like that has kept the possibility of U.S. military intervention looming over the power struggle in Caracas. Catch up quick. The new sanctions are an indication that the Trump administration will use all economic and diplomatic levers at its disposal to undercut Nicolas Maduro's regime and boost his rival for power, National Assembly President Juan Guaido, whom the U.S. and several other countries have recognized as interim president. I got a question. What business is it of ours? Huh? What if Russia decided that the United States needs regime change as well? Huh? I mean, come on, folks. Absolute bullshit. Treasury Secretary Steve Munson said proceeds from the sale of Venezuelan oil to U.S. companies will not be allowed to flow to Maduro's government unless and until PDVSA recognize Guido. Again, what business is it of us? Maduro denounced the move, saying Trump will have blood on his hands and calling on PDVSA to seek legal recourse. What to watch? Venezuela is very reliant on the U.S. for oil revenues. The country sends 41% of its oil exports to the U.S. Critically, U.S. refineries are among the few customers that pay cash to Venezuela for its oil because shipments to China and Russia are usually taken as payment for billions of dollars in debt. I, I got a question. I attached another link where Trump says that we're oil independent and we export. So <laughs> why are we buying oil from Venezuela for cash if we're exporting oil? Huh? I mean, what am I missing here? You see, this is the problem. All they do is treat us like mushrooms. They feed us crap and keep us in the dark. And Google and YouTube, well, they just jumped on that keep us dark bandwagon by censoring anyone that disagrees with the government's official narrative. Hmm. The White House is hoping that if it deprives Maduro of cash, the Venezuela military will have no reason to stay loyal to him, Axios, Jonathan Swan reports. The Trump administration has avoided all sanctions in the past out of concerns. They'll deepen the suffering of the Venezuela people, raise oil prices, and hurt U.S. companies. <laughs> you think that our government really cares? about the Venezuela people when they're responsible for the slaughter of hundreds of thousands of Middle Easterns? Huh? You think they really care? The move could also strengthen the argument made repeatedly by Maduro that Venezuela is the victim of U.S. conspiracy. 
Maduro, who claimed Sunday that Chup despises Latin America, Elgs clings to his anti-U.S. credentials as one of the few remaining sources of support. That brings us back to Bolton, who stated again today that the U.S. will hold Venezuela's security forces responsible for the safety of all U.S. diplomatic personnel. Yeah, you think Bolton cares about the U.S. personnel? They should get them the hell out of there. The National Assembly and President Guaido, any violence against these groups would signify a grave assault on the rule of law. You gotta be shitting me, Bolton, on the rule of law, and will be met with a significant response. Bolton refused to define what a significant response might look like, saying only yet again, the President has made it clear on this matter that all options are on the table. All right, so Trump's all on a bandwagon to get rid of Nicolas Maduro, but uh, when the Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Shalom, butchered Jamal Khashoggi, had his remains disposed of in a vat of acid, sent his G5 to pick up the murderers from Turkey. There's no response. There's no threats of military intervention. Quite the opposite. There's billions of dollars of weapons sold so Saudi Arabia can continue its war with other Arab countries. Are you sort of getting the picture, folks? Huh? <laughs> well, like I said, if we're exporting oil, why are we buying oil from Venezuela to begin with? And don't tell me it's because we're charitable. That's got nothing to do with it. We want what Maduro's got, oil. Same reason that we're in the other countries that we're battling. We're not doing it because we're a beloved country. We're doing it because we want their resources. Nothing's changed, folks. Absolute bullshit. I told you, Bolton's a warmonger. I'll attach the link. You take a look at it. Oh, by the way, every time you go to a Sitco gas station, they belong to Nicolas Maduro. They belong to Venezuela. Don't know if you know that. Totally, completely insane. We should have nothing to do with Venezuela's politics. It isn't any of our business, is it?